Welcome to the Identity and Access Management, offered by Flipped Academy. We are thrilled to have you join us on this exciting journey into the world of wireless communication. IAM is a framework that ensures secure and efficient management of user identities and their access to resources within an organization's digital ecosystem. It encompasses authentication methods to verify users' identities, access control technologies to regulate resource permissions, and access control models to define authorization rules. IAM plays a crucial role in maintaining data confidentiality, integrity, and availability while facilitating seamless user experiences. Type 1. Something you know this method involves using a secret piece of information that only the user should know, like a password or a PIN. While easy to implement, it's considered weak because passwords can be easily guessed, shared, or stolen. Type 2. Something you have this approach relies on possessing a physical item, such as a smart card, security token, or mobile device, to gain access. It enhances security compared to just a password, as the attacker would need both the physical item and its associated knowledge to breach the system. Type 3. Something you are this method employs biometric characteristics like fingerprints, retinal scans, or facial recognition to verify identity. Biometrics provide a higher level of security, as they are unique to each individual, making it difficult for others to impersonate. A fourth type, where you are this emerging method considers the user's location as an authentication factor. It assesses whether the user's current location matches their expected geographical area. While useful, it's often used in conjunction with other methods due to potential inaccuracies and changes in location. Let's delve into the four types of passwords. Static passwords, these are traditional passwords that remain unchanged unless manually modified by the user. They're commonly used for authentication but can be vulnerable to attacks if not properly managed. Passphrase, passphrase are longer strings of words or sentences used as passwords. They offer enhanced security compared to shorter passwords by incorporating more characters and complexity. One-time passwords, these are temporary codes generated for a single login session. They provide an added layer of security, especially when used alongside traditional passwords, as they change frequently. Dynamic passwords, dynamic passwords are continuously changing and time-based, often generated by devices like tokens or authentication apps. They offer increased protection against attacks like replay attacks. Each type of password has its advantages and drawbacks, and understanding them can help in selecting the appropriate method for different security scenarios. Static passwords are user-generated passwords that remain constant until changed by the user. They can be reused for multiple login sessions and may or may not have an expiration period. While easy to use, they pose security risks if not managed properly. To enhance security, static passwords are often combined with other authentication methods, like smart cards or biometrics. This multi-factor approach strengthens the overall security of access control systems by requiring both something the user knows, the password, and something the user has, the smart card or biometric data. Passphrase are extended static passwords formed by combining words from a phrase or sentence, such as I will pass the CISSP in six months. They offer enhanced security compared to traditional shorter passwords. To further strengthen passphrase, it's recommended to include a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Creating passphrase with random or nonsensical words adds an extra layer of complexity making them harder for attackers to guess or crack through brute force methods. One-time passwords, OTP. One-time passwords are highly secure authentication codes that can only be used once. They provide robust security by preventing password reuse and reducing the impact of data breaches. Each OTP is valid for a single login session or transaction, making it nearly impossible for attackers to exploit even if intercepted. While OTPs offer strong security, they can be challenging to manage due to their temporary nature and the need for coordination between the user and the authentication system. Dynamic passwords. 
Dynamic passwords are passwords that change regularly, usually after a predefined interval. They enhance security by reducing the window of opportunity for attackers to exploit a stolen or intercepted password. Dynamic passwords are often generated using tokens, which can be physical devices or software applications. However, the cost of tokens, especially physical ones, can be a drawback for widespread implementation. Despite this, dynamic passwords provide an additional layer of protection against unauthorized access. Strong Authentication, Multi-Factor Authentication Strong authentication, also known as multi-factor authentication, MFA, requires the use of multiple authentication factors to verify a user's identity. This approach enhances security by combining different types of authentication methods. For instance, using both an ATM card and a PIN to access an account adds an extra layer of protection. Even if one factor is compromised, the additional factors provide an additional barrier against unauthorized access. Password guessing. Password guessing involves trying various combinations of passwords to gain unauthorized access to an account. Such attempts can be detected through system logs, which track login activities. Clipping levels, like detecting more than five failed logins per hour, help distinguish between malicious attacks and normal user errors. To prevent repeated guessing, systems often employ an account lockout mechanism that temporarily blocks access after a certain number of failed login attempts, safeguarding accounts from unauthorized access attempts. Password hashes and password cracking. Plaintext passwords are typically not directly stored on systems anymore due to security concerns. Instead, systems store password hashes, which are one-way transformations of passwords. Password cracking involves attempting to find the original password by calculating the hash value for a large list of potential passwords and comparing them to the stored hash. If a match is found, the attacker gains access. Password hashes enhance security by making it much harder for attackers to retrieve the original passwords from the stored data. Password hashes storage. Password hashes are stored securely to prevent easy access to plaintext passwords. On Unix systems, they're stored in the slash etc. slash shadow file. On Windows, local account hashes are in the SAM file, while domain account hashes are on domain controllers. Hashes are cached on a local system after a domain login, allowing for offline authentication. Storing hashes instead of plaintext passwords adds a layer of security, minimizing the impact of data breaches or unauthorized access. Capturing hashes. Hashes can be compromised through various methods. Sniffing network traffic, hashes might be intercepted from network data. Reading RAM, tools like FDump or Metasploit HashDump can extract hashes from a computer's memory. SAM file locking. While the OS runs, the SAM file containing hashes is typically locked to prevent direct access. Preventing hash capture involves securing networks, using memory protection, and employing security tools to detect unauthorized access. Landman LM hash. The Landman LM hash is a legacy password hashing method used in older Windows systems. Unlike more secure methods, the LM hash doesn't change, making it vulnerable to password cracking and easier to exploit. It's strongly recommended to avoid using the LM hash due to its susceptibility to attacks. Dictionary attack. In a dictionary attack, an attacker uses a list of potential passwords to attempt unauthorized access. This technique is fast and efficient, as it doesn't involve generating new passwords. To counter dictionary attacks, password complexity enforce strong password requirements, like using a mix of uppercase, lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Password length rules set minimum password length to deter attackers from guessing short passwords easily. These measures make it more difficult for attackers to successfully guess passwords from a predefined list. Brute force and hybrid attacks. Brute force attack. This method involves trying every possible combination of characters to crack a password. It's slow but can be accelerated using GPUs for parallel processing. Rainbow tables, which trade time for memory, are useful for unsalted passwords like Microsoft's LM hash. 
Hybrid attack. A hybrid attack combines a dictionary attack with modifications to the words, like replacing letters with numbers or using leet speak, 1337 SP 33K. This approach leverages common password patterns while also incorporating variations to increase the chances of success. Both techniques attempt to discover passwords through systematic trial and error, highlighting the importance of strong password policies and techniques like salting to enhance security. Salts. Salts are random values added to passwords before they are hashed. Even if two users have the same password, their resulting hashes will be different due to the unique salts. This mitigates the effectiveness of pre-computed attacks like rainbow tables, as each hash requires a specific salt value for accurate cracking. Salting significantly improves password security by adding an extra layer of complexity to the hashing process making it harder for attackers to crack passwords using pre-computed lists or patterns. Windows 10 allows administrators to set password policies that enforce security measures for user passwords. These policies typically include rules such as requiring a minimum password length, including a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols, and setting password expiration periods. These measures help strengthen the overall security of user accounts by promoting the use of strong and regularly updated passwords. Password control. Users sometimes compromise security by writing down passwords and leaving them in insecure locations, like sticky notes on computer monitors. This practice increases the risk of unauthorized access, as these written passwords can be easily discovered by others. To maintain strong security, users should avoid writing down passwords and instead use secure methods like password managers to store and manage their credentials. Kindly take the time to thoroughly explore this comprehensive module, as it will undoubtedly contribute to a deeper and more comprehensive understanding of the subject matter.